what's up? Today's video is kind of different because I've been requested through DMs on Instagram, through messages on just like my social media asking me to do more like vlogs um, because I did put a post up on my Instagram saying like what kind of things do people like to watch nowadays because story times I have a bunch but a lot of them are not like PG friendly and since YouTube is not my full-time job I can't just put like that kind of shit on the internet Today's video is going to be about training and it's going to be about my first powerlifting meet which is in exactly one week from tomorrow. Let me just tell you, I signed up for this meet like way back, like maybe like four months, five months back and in that time I hurt myself three fucking times, like how? Pretty much I pinched a nerve in my back like three times, many of dollars later and many physio exercises later. I have almost fully healed. Since my meet is in one week, I've only been training for like two weeks. So basically none of my numbers went up. I didn't PR or anything, but I am happy to say that my strength is back to where it was before almost. This vlog is just like my last max out before I deload to prepare for my meet next week. Yesterday I maxed out on squats. I forgot to film anything because what is a YouTuber? Like what? But I did post it on my Instagram. So if you follow me, then you would have seen that. But I will put clips here. are literally my least favorite thing. I am so bad at them. No power, you know? So yeah, stay tuned and we will walk through our last max out dates. So I'm ready to go to the gym now. Since I am just benching today, I have this very, very casual outfit on. Everything here is from Forever 21. I just find this like loose baggy shirt so easy to just throw on. And when you sweat, you don't feel like shit. And I love mustard because you know, basic bitch. These mustard leggings, they're cropped. <laughs> Let's give you that like, you know. So yeah, that is my full outfit. Anyways, since I am just benching today, I don't really care what I wear. Okay, so I'm just waiting for Calvin to get here, but Meanwhile, I will bake in this. You know what? I need some air. I need some air. It's just, it's just can't. Today is I'm gonna try to max out on my bench or just go pretty heavy before I deload, um, as I said, and bench. Do a lot of like chest accessories and like triceps because like triceps. Seriously, the more you work your triceps, the better your bench will be. <laughs> and I also have to do a lot of like physio rehab exercises for my back and glutes still. Pretty much every single day I have to do these like glute exercises and like back core stuff. It's just ugh, it's so draining. My back does feel better after I do them. So even though I'm not squatting or deadlifting today, it's still important to do. Mans has arrived. Whose man's is this? <laughs> My neighbor just came out of their house, but you know those neighbors that you've never spoken to like ever? And now it's like seven years deep and it's like too late because like, yeah. Hello. Why is this a video? Calvi! I'm vlogging! <laughs> <laughs> this camera's gonna fly in like 10 seconds. I know. You gotta get those sticky pads. You know? I had one I ordered from eBay, but when I cut open the envelope, I cut the sticky pad in half. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> Gavin DeGraw! There's always sky, rest your head 
This right here is a vibrating foam roller. So you press this, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's moving. Just in case that we will fade into darkness. Fade into darkness. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but that's that's some vibration right there. Yo, it keeps going up. my three attempts my opener my middle and my closer now I'm gonna try to do my this is just 155 on the bar um, I've done this weight before but with like a very like close spot and it was kind of like bouncy I failed this like two weeks ago so let's see if I can do it now for my last max out and that is deadlifts. Deadlifts and I have a special connection. Before I even knew what powerlifting was, deadlift was like the first exercise I ever did and I remember practicing it on like a smith machine and then graduating to a bar. I did it for like years and years and years like just going heavy and I never even like did powerlifting. I never like squatted, never benched. Like I pretty much only started squatting this year, 2018. I used to pull conventional like all the time. Sumo I was just never comfortable with. I don't have the hip mobility. Still kind of don't. But um, after hurting my back, I kind of switched over to sumo. It makes it a lot, lot easier on my back and it just focuses more on my legs instead. Let's see how it goes. Today's outfit is very, very simple. These shorts were so cheap and they were so worth, guys. They were like 15 bucks. And they have a thick waistband and they're just like a bright bright color which I love um they're from ASICS and then I have on this Ontario powerlifting shirt which is from LVD um super comfy and I love supporting LVD because it's a local business and they have a lot of like powerlifting gear so if you want to check them out then you should do so I think today I'm gonna to wear my LVD socks as well these nice long pink sockies Oh yeah, I got a new car by the way, <laughs> in case everything looks different. <laughs>
Show them your squat fail bruise. Uh, when you had to bail. This is what happens when you don't bail on a squat properly and the belt crushes into your hip. We are ready to deadlift. Got my socks on, Savos. Powerlifter, just chilling. <laughs> just chill. our post workout meal. This is my favorite pho place in the GTA, guys. It's called Vietnam Noodle Star. It's in Scarborough, and it's so good. Like the meat there is just like mm, 100 p, non vegan friendly. So, yeah, that concludes my training vlog, and I think it went pretty well. I maxed out and I hit all the numbers I wanted to hit. This is a really hectic parking lot. Like every Chinese person is in this parking lot and they're just crazy so yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here today follow my instagram social media everything i'll put it all right here i have my snapchat you can scan my code to add me for some shenanigans uh, but mostly i am on ig and i still have a twitter so yeah bye bye